Hi Aquarius, it's Elle here to do your daily reading. Thank you for being here. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing to the channel. It means a lot. Please continue to do so. Uh, all links are below if you need to get in contact with me. Let's go ahead and get into it Aquarius. Thank you God for blessing the Aquarius with a clear, concise message from you. All right, so Aquarius, we have past, present, future. Okay, so um, it looks like uh, in, in this top row, we have love, okay? And in the bottom row, we have career and finance. So we'll start here. For love in the past, it looks like you met a very charismatic, outgoing, dynamic person who you knew kind of, maybe they presented some red flags or maybe they presented themselves as a challenge or that you presented yourself as a challenge and they were up for it. This person knew what to say, how to say it. They knew how to come off to you, how to appeal to you, to maybe even your good nature. They may have read you before you read them. Um, for some of you, it's like um, you were dealing with somebody with a large ego. They could have been very powerful in their own right, in their own world. Um, a businesswoman, a businessman um, just gets things done. And that's how they showed up to the relationship. Uh, it could have been that they they were trying to persuade you with their words, but not with their actions. They just couldn't follow through. Um it could have been very sexual also with the Ace of Wands and the Magician coming out here in the past in terms of love. It could have been a very, um, you know, sensual, sexual uh, relationship, lots of chemistry. Uh, you, you both get one and get one another. You both could be entrepreneurs or have like an entrepreneurial type of energy about yourselves or independent energy, maybe even independent thinkers. Uh, that was where maybe you, you two got along, you know, where it was, um, where the chemistry started here. Uh, let's see what this was about. Like, can we clarify the Ace of Wands and the Magician? This person put, took the power in their hands. I mean, they just said things and you just kind of ate it up. Um, let's, ooh, okay, three cards came out. Yeah, Nine of Wands, they were non-committal, okay? And the relationship... It started out with red flags, you moved past it, and then it turned into a rocky situation, a rocky relationship uh, where maybe you would walk away, they would walk away, you guys will come back to one another, you will go through the whole questioning if you should fight for it or leave it alone. It was just up and down. It was an uphill battle here. Somebody also wasn't as committed as the magician said they were because the magician governs language. Um, there's also somebody here who um, they kept looking at their past too. And and also this is, I don't know if it's you Aquarius or the other person, when you would walk away from them, you would look back. You would look back for them to either come and find you or to reach out to you or you would go backwards. Um, the seven of discs, yeah. So it's like um, there was very little progression and, and either you or the other person got frustrated with how things were progressing and then it turned into a situation where there has been a period of no activity is the, the seven of pentacles says it could be like nine or more months you know for some of you where there has been no activity between the two of you um and you both have accepted okay we're not talking we're not engaging but you both feel like it's not over. You feel like this is not the end. You're just frustrated with how things are playing out now. So it's in, it's interesting. You got two cards of looking backwards and persevering and trying to work through. And there's also somebody here who didn't want an intimate connection, not a sexual one, but an intimate one. That's talk that talks about vulnerability and closeness. They didn't want it. Um, they didn't know how to deal with it. Therefore, it was easy to maybe keep other options around, ghost you, pick up another, ghost that person, come back to you, play the field. Then you have no feelings for, you know, any of them, no real feelings, okay? Uh, the sun card, something was illuminated to you. Maybe that somebody had too much of a playful nature. They were not serious. Um, you brought a lot of positivity, radiance, light to maybe their life and vice versa. They did this for you, but you guys weren't able to kind of manipulate that energy and turn it into anything long term for whatever reason. And we'll talk about that reason in the present here, because in the present we have the Hierophant and the Page of Wands. So uh, presently for love, 
it seems as if um, the universe is trying to get you and this person uh, two opposites, because you both are opposites. Trying to get you, you two opposites to come together, work together. Uh, they're only doing that by way of maybe you guys are separated now and you're uh, learning about yourself. Um, this situation in the past brought you to the Hierophant to where now you are studying spirituality, um, seeking advice, um, maybe even trying to understand the science behind you meeting this person, you liking this person, the chemistry, what was there? Because some of you manifested this person, whether you like it or not, you manifested this person because there was something in you that you needed to fix so that you can go to the next level. I know it all reads like a game, but uh, you know, um, you know, it's life. It's what we're going through. But it's like the universe wanted you to fix something about you because there's some distortion about you and maybe how you look at relationships and definitely how the other person does. Um, you both are complete opposites, um, but opposites do attract so that you can then fix your, you can uh, fix what is, um, what is broken, what is not working, what has not been working for you, what you have not been getting a desired outcome about. It says now in your separation, um, universe has been speaking to the both of you. Like, look, you need to fix this about you. And then you need to fix this about your, about you. And then possibly you guys can come back together because the, the Hebrew uh, letter for a H I believe, or, or high, or the hierophant is Va, And it talks about, and, and, um, and then the hierophant talks about you, it talks about you and the letter I, so you and I, so it's about you and I, maybe you and your person coming together and having a real traditional uh, relationship, having an institution, a foundation, but it's not before you learn about yourself, learn about how you can, you and I can come together, says the Hierophant. The page of one says that um, in the present, you might even be receiving good news a phone call, an unexpected message, because there's a renewed sense of self here. You, there's a renewed sense of self because some of you, this whole situation ran you or drove you to spirituality, uh, watching the tarot, asking questions, uh, learning about yourself, learning about relationships here. So now you're a renewed sense of self and maybe even your person is, we don't know where they are, but uh, there's somebody who's renewed and there may be a message, a good news message coming in. There could be some romantic a makeup session here where you and somebody else can come back together and make up if only if you want it you do not have to take this if you do not want this if the reading is not for you x off quietly leave um with the page of wands here yeah it says uh there could be a makeup session uh you guys could just you know end up in this world when romance i do not feel like this is somebody new because we have the two of cups at the bottom of the deck and the two of cups talks about, uh, forgiveness. Okay. Uh, for, uh, forgiving, um, and reconciliation. Okay. Forgiving and coming back together, understanding that the relationship is mutually beneficial, that there's a platonic level to this and a love. Therefore we can have marriage, um, says the two of cups. You can't have that with somebody you just met. So this is it. This is reading is not for someone you just met yesterday, last week, a month ago. Um, it's just not that, you know, it's not reading like that. If you want to relate it to your person you met a week ago, guess what? You can. Um, so it looks like there could be, a, what is this about? What is this message about coming in for the Aquarius? What is this message the Hierophant and the message in the present. Where are we? Nine minutes. Hierophant and the message. Hierophant and the page of wands. All right. We have the five of cups. Yeah, because there was disappointment. All right. So, so both of you miss each other. Okay. Whether you want to admit it or not. There is a, a longing for it. There is a missing here. You miss the connection because there's a lot of chemistry here for whatever reason. Sexual, mental, physical, all of that. Um, emotional. Uh great disappointment. It looks like a lot of time has elapsed between the two of you and you don't even know how to come back to each other. You don't even know what to say. You know that, you know, you want reconciliation, but how do you do it? It's easier to stay in the grieving and the, the separated, you know, uh, 
it's easy to stay in separation and the grieving part of this connection. It's going to be harder to build that bridge and walk back to one another and do the work. The uh, five of cups here, um, sadness and disappointment. Somebody had um, intentions, uh, great intentions for the relationship. Um, the hierophant governs the fives. The, the five of cups is a five. Um, so it's about maybe you and this person realizing that you do need to build a bridge and come back together. Um, if it is to come back together to stay together, it says that, look, in the five of cups, it says the relationship is recoverable, but not before you do the work. Somebody here feels like they lost something, like they really lost something. Somebody is really understanding the other person's worth. Okay. Uh, the other person's worth in their life. They're feeling a, a, an extreme void. It could be the both of you. Okay. Um, let's get one more card for that. One more card. Let's see. One more card for the present energy for the Aquarius. If the cards want to give us one more card, they might not want to give us one more card. No. All right. So let's jump into a uh, career and finance in the past. You were the king of cups. Some of you could be in a career field where you have to have um, be a better, we won't say the best, but a better bedside manner. You have to um, remain emotionally stable in very, uh, you know, high emotion type of uh, situations where emo emotions are flying. You have to remain uh, the emotionally stable one. You have to remain the emotionally balanced one. You have to know which emotion to draw from too. Um, and that would go for a medical profession too, uh, for some of you. And if you're not in the medical profession, then you could be in a, the capacity of counselor, advisor, um, something of that sort to where people rely on you. They rely on um, your guidance here. And you may even, um, govern over or manage over a, a large group of people or a group of people um to where you're dealing with different personalities and different you know uh mindsets here and you're able to do it uh accurately you're able to to maintain your own emotional balance here you're able to take on all of those different uh, personalities and keep going here some of you also you just deal with a lot of people you see a lot of people this could be if you're in a service-based uh career field where you have um, different clients, okay? Um, you need to be able to, you know, compartmentalize your emotions. Uh, you need to be able to um, know what emotion to draw from when you're speaking to this client, client A and then client B and then C. Um, you also very focused on business matters, says the King of Cups. Unbeknownst to a lot of readers and people who study the Tarot, the King of Cups is very business oriented. He's also very cultured, learned, educated. Um, yeah, he's definitely about, you know, arts too. So you could be in the arts, whatever they may, that may be for you. Something where you have to have a creative um, mindset. So you could be in, in that, uh, in those types of fields here. What is the king of, like, you could be like, um, I don't know, you could be a uh, esthetician, right? And, um, you know, somebody comes to you with really, you know, a, a maybe really, um, bad situation for their skin. You can't look at them and say, oh my gosh, you know, you, you, you have to maintain your composure. You have to come up with a plan, a course of action. This is how we're going to attack it. This is what I need you to do in your own free time. Uh, and this is when I need you to come back. And you, and that would be the King of Cups type of energy. Now, you're not going to be that way for every single client. You're going to be different. So the King of Cups, um, you might be in a profession where you have to maintain uh, your emotional composure. And if you don't, you probably don't see a lot of clients. No one wants to come to someone, pay their money and feel, um, you know, uncomfortable. So uh, that could be advice to give me one card for the King of Cups in the past. Some of you are sharing your gifts here. I see that in the Six of Cups. What is this? Right. Generosity, the Six of Pentacles. You were making money from doing this. Okay, money was coming in and it was going out. It wasn't a great surplus of money. Like you didn't have a, a large savings from, from uh, this business or from this job or whatnot. Um, it was just enough to keep you going. Uh, you had people coming through the door, you know, quote unquote. Um, with the Six of Pentacles, you were in the capacity of where you had the power also. It's like some people rely on you. 
Okay, you could be making more money. I just heard that you could be making more money. Um, maybe you need to raise your prices. Maybe you need to um, go back to school, get another uh, certification so that it coincides with the price raise, the price increase. Um, you could have been even giving out free stuff like freebies and gifts to your clients and you know not charging for this or undercharging for that all right um we have in this we have in the present the six of cups so some of you definitely using your gifts here um and these will be gifts that have been with you since you were a child now it may have taken you a long time a lifetime you see this adult man it may take you a lifetime to actually hone in on your gift and actually present it to the world. But whatever this was, it, it has been with you. You it, it may have been, it may have been dormant in you, you know, and now it, um, you're coming into really um, accepting that this is you. This is your thing. This is your niche. Yeah, you could have really come into that maybe around November, early November. Really understanding, like, this is what I need to be doing. The Six of Cups talks about uh, successful teamwork. So if you work on a team, it's, been, it's being successful. Prosperous co collaborations. If you are collab, you know, collaborating with someone, you know, it could be very prosperous for the both of you. You could receive an inheritance, too, in the Six of Cups. Um, some of you are just really thinking about the future. You're thinking about the future because there are children, maybe, or young people, or... Um, you're thinking about maybe making a will, um, insurance policies. Um, you're thinking about what you will leave to the next generation, which is great. Great way of thinking. Um, whatever it is you do, especially in the present, there is a um, an energy of creativity. You have come into reunion with your uh, God-given gift, talent, and now you're going to share it. Very interesting. What is this? What is the Six of Cups in the present? Six of Cups in the present. The Hermit. Very nice. Um, yeah, you had to uh, really dig deep, soul search with the Hermit card, um, go on this uh, self-discovery journey so that you can move forward. The Hermit card said that you had even gotten to a place where you were looking for validation outside of yourself, but you already knew the answer. Um, maybe even going back to school or just honing your or not even more so uh cultivating better craft you know uh, for yourself learning more maybe even traveling studying uh, stepping outside of yourself here with the hermit card and the six of cups so that you can be better at what it you can be an expert because the nines can talk about expert also i'm um, something coming to culmination so um you may have, have even stepped back to um Go back to school, higher learning, um, expertise. You want to be an expert at what you do or you need to learn. You need to pick up a book. You need to go to a class. You need to talk to an expert. Whatever it is you do, Aquarius, you got the two of cups at the bottom of the deck. It marries you on a soul level. Like this is what you should be doing. Look at the two hands intertwined. Um, this also talks about income. It talks about uh, work ethic, what you do on a day-to-day -day basis, your uh, routine. Routinely, you, you fill in the blank. Uh, four of disc. some of you are trying to uh, maintain your status, the status quo here. You're trying to maintain your money. What we're going to do in the extended is talk about the future and what it looks like for you because it looks like the past and the present energies are very good. Um, you came out of something and now you're going into, all right? Uh, we're going to talk about this uh, message that could be coming to you in love from someone who is disappointed in grief, sadness, feeling like they lost something by not having you. We're also going to talk about what this gift is in your career and finance. We're going to talk about how maybe you could be making more money with the Six of Pentacles in the past. I'm going to leave you with an angel answer card. If I don't see you on the other side, you can get the extended reading. The link is below. It's not a whole lot of money. Wow, 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 wow. I want to save this for the extended. 
I'm going to give you one of these. Which one to give him? Okay, he said give him this one. Let me just, I'm going to just do this for you. Boom. Can't make it up. Then I say some old passionate romantic makeup section, a uh, session. Oh, it could be a section like sex. Shun, like, <laughs> anyway, my old corny jokes. But um, yeah, you get some romance coming in, Aquarius. These cards don't even lie. I shuffled twice and these three cards ca came out. I want to leave the other cards for those who want to see me on the other side in the extended reading. This is a really good reading, guys. Um, I hope that I will uh, meet you on the other side. If you can't afford a personal reading right now, an extended reading is the closest thing you can get to a personal reading, especially if the reading resonates for you thus far. So I will see you on the other side. Make sure that you check me out every Tuesday and Thursday. Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday night, 9.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, where you can ask me questions. And you can also just come for the uh, the collective reading. Um, you can donate to the channel. If you took something from this reading, you could buy me a coffee. Yep, the link is below. It says, buy Elle a coffee. Um, you can also ask a question by texting your question to the number below. All right, thank you guys. Many blessings to you.